When visitors and tourists come to Plein Air Easton and want to find out the who, what, when, and why about the event, they simply step into the Red Hen Cafe on Goldsboro Street, where a charming staff of volunteers awaits with information on all things Plein Air Easton. People come in and they want to know what's going on and when they can go see artists and how they can look at the art this weekend. And we have all the brochures and pamphlets. We have the map where all the artists are located and we can tell you what all the events are today. We've had people here from Louisiana. Pennsylvania, of course on the western shore of Maryland so far this morning, and then local people come there too. Well, I love to volunteer for Plein Air Easton because I like to hang out with all the artists, and then I like to showcase the art that's here in town for everyone to see. So it's a really great community support system. I enjoy meeting the artists the world. That is the fun part of it, and meeting the public is fun. All the activity, meeting the different painters that come here from all over the United States and the world, it's just fun being a part of Plein Air Easton. After stopping into the Red Hen Cafe, we took a drive to a large farm on Landing Neck Road in Talbot County, where artists were painting vanishing landscapes, landscapes that won't be around in our ever-changing world. We ran into artist Sandra Kapora from Pennsylvania, who spoke with us about picking out a spot to paint and composition, and artist Richard Sneary from Missouri, who filled us in with a big tip when painting watercolors. I, I look for light and dark values and uh, interesting arrangement of color. And I'm looking for, um, for compositional points. It's oil paint of various brands, and it's primarily a cool and warm yellow, and cool, uh, warm and cool reds, and warm and cool blues. But I throw in a few extra things, and black and white. So it's, you know, it really gives you anything you need. I like that it's soft and kind of uh, there's a lot of atmosphere, so I'll, the colors will be a little bit gray. So I want to just kind of get everything, figure out where it's going to go. You've got to think backwards. You've got to think of the finish and then figure it out before you start putting color down. You can't go back and undo what you've done unless you just want it darker. Most of it will be just additive. So you keep adding color. You don't, uh, you don't subtract value. You Basically All this and more from Plein Air East in 2013. Galleries, demos, the quick draw on Saturday, quick draw for the next generation on Sunday, the collector's party, and the revolving exhibit all weekend long at the Academy Art Museum. More information at pleinairisten.com.